Welcome to Fox Soul. I'm your girl, Keisha Cole, and thanks for joining me on my very first episode of What I Want to Get Okay. All right. I'm excited to be here to share my life with you and talk about some of the things that inspire me the most. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself, of course, as if you didn't know. Okay, I'm a girl from Oakland, California. I started my singing at a very young age and moved to Los Angeles to pursue my dreams as a singer, songwriter, producer, and I'm a proud mother of two baby boys, oh my God, that I love so much. <laughs> yes, I think it's important that we choose to be happy every day. And I wanna bring that same happiness to your lives and have most open, honest conversations about things that are important to me and of course the things that are important to you guys. So, let's get started. Okay, before we get started though, I want to invite everyone to connect with us by tweeting, this is the very important part, by tweeting at Fox Soul TV or call us at 866-FOX-SOUL or 866-369 seven six eight five because we're live and I want to hear from you guys everybody we want to hear from you guys so please give us a call okay now please give a warm welcome for my very first guest his name is Nico Kale <laughs> Nice to meet you. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, how you doing tonight? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm blessed. Blessed to be here. I know that's here. right. I know that's right. Um, so thank you for being my very first guest. Thank I you for really having me. I appreciate that. I want to dive into these questions that I have for you myself. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> so um, how, is it, how is it to film your very first reality show? It's different. You know, I'm... I'm used to having uh, my life as a secret. People don't really know about what's going on in my life. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, from having cameras, recording conversations and all that, it's different. Um, but I don't really have nothing to hide, so I think reality TV, it was a cool experience. Um, other than the, the parts where it was like, all right, y'all all up in my business, and I'm really being honest with her, or I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you all up in my business, but Yeah, by the way, cool. guys, the name of our reality show is Keisha Cole, My New Life, but it's also featuring my child's father and my two kids, our, our son that we have together, our two kids. How y'all doing? And um, it's <laughs> such a wonderful experience for me, I know that. Um, I wanted to ask also, how did you get your start in this music business? Because um, nobody seems to know that. I actually, in middle school, I won a poetry slam. Mm. And um, after that, I kind of had confidence. I, I, I wanted to have a voice. And I already had a love for music, so I kind of just let them coexist in my life. Yeah? Yeah. That's what's up. Pretty much. So, um, that was it? I mean, did you, you didn't get your break nowhere else? I mean, I, mean, I did, but that was really, like, made me want to be a rapper and, you know, say something out my mouth. Gotcha. Um, but, you know, I've, I've, I've got a a few opportunities from from some OGs in the game. Yeah. yeah. Rodney Jerkins. Rodney Jerkins, Cam, <laughs> Cam Low, yeah. Game, a lot of people. Um, reached out to Reached you. out, supported, and just, you know, let me know that they believe in me and what talent. I got. Yeah, so. Yeah, Nico's going to perform today. I can't wait to see what you got in store for yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. So what's the inspiration behind your music? Um, inspiration behind my music is it's life experience. Yeah. You know, the, the pain, the love, um, worldly matters. I think that's, you know, your approach with music as well. It has been but, love. You know. <laughs> you know what you we got go love through. In, your, in your music too, though. No, I, 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 I love, I love um, yeah. the fact that when I first heard your music that it really did um, inspire me in ways that I feel like um, it really gave me a lot of strength, um, your lyrics did. And I really was like, who is this guy? He is really, he's really good with his words and he really does touch my heart with his words. And I wanna meet this guy, like who the heck is this guy? Anyway, but that's another show. Lying. Like she, she <laughs> the first thing she said to me was, I, I wanna see if you're the man behind those words. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but um, so how many projects do you have out? Um, 
you know, I've dropped a few. Um, I started when I was like 13, 14 in the game. So, um, you know, from then, like I was dropping mixtapes on live, mixtapes, Dat Piff, um, before streaming, before Apple Music, Spotify. Mm -hmm. I have two projects, actually three. I have three projects now on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, ETC, and um, all those other streaming platforms. Over the years, yeah. all by yourself? Yeah, and I distribute my own music. Um, and I record my own self, so. Uh, that's super dope. You know, I had to learn how to just get it, you know, start waiting for people to come give it to me. Yeah, and so that's why you, you're independent? Yeah, um, if it makes sense one day, you know, we go bigger, we go major. But the way social media is set up now with like Instagram and Twitter, the retweets, the likes, the views and all that, like I feel like it's, it's a perfect time for independent artists. Um, shout out to Chance the Rapper, he's an independent artist right now and he's killing the game. Um, but yeah, yeah. we're at a point where we can be our own, our own business and run our own, you know, artistry, our own careers. Yeah, like a no, no doubt because that really, I mean, even after I met you and saw your hustle and the grind that you have, like it inspired me to want to release my music independently as well. I was like, well, how do you do it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, can you create the count that you have for me? I want to know how to release it. No, I haven't released anything yet. Yeah. But I mean, that to me says a lot because I mean, for you to take the initiative and just do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't even know how, you know, that's, that's within itself. So um, I think that's super dope. I think that's super dope. Cool, yeah, no, nah, I think, um, like I said, you just gotta really stop complaining about people giving it to you. Um, or not. Yeah, that's why I went, I went to school, I went to college, um, Full Sail University, to study audio engineering and production and learn how to record myself, you know, so I could save money and not be spending $70 an hour for studio time. Facts. You know. That's what I love about you. You mm. just get it done. Got to, no we excuses. just like each other. We, you know don't, we don't, listen, we ain't about to beg you. No excuses. Ask no you excuses. a million times. Do exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we're just going to get it ourselves. Do what we got to do. I mean, yeah, so that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I don't want to ask you another question about how okay. is it like to be a first time dad? A first time? It's beautiful. Um, I was nervous at first. I think, I don't know if we have any dads in here. Any fathers yeah, in the building? Shout out to the fathers in the yeah. building, all right. Word. <laughs> um, you know, I had my first child at 23 years old, and to me it wasn't you too- You 23? I'm 24 now, I just, my birthday oh, just passed. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was about to say that. Right, yeah, you say you're 23. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Um, other than the sleepless nights, I think you just, you kind of just, every day he, you wake up, I look into my son's eyes, he smiles, he got like two dimples, like two hard dimples, and every time he smiles at me, it just like, it's like, it makes me want to go harder, you know, be a better man, and just um, work towards my goals, and, and be the influence, and you know, before my son even was born, DJ, um, her son, was somebody that I wanted to, you know, I wanted him to look up to me, as well as a father figure, so he kind of got me uh, prepared for this next step in my life. Um, you know, just being there for him, um, whatever he needs, teaching him and guiding him in the areas he needs guidance. Um, I think it prepared me for this fatherhood and um, it's dope, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful experience. Yeah, sure. well, um, we have a caller. So somebody caller. has called in oh, and man. somebody wants to speak to you. Her name is Veronica, Veronica don't get too snazzy. Now how you doing, Veronica? Fine, how are you? Turn down your, turn down, Hello? turn down your equipment, baby. Okay, I'm, I'm hired. Is this Keisha Nico? This is Keisha. Yes, it's Ke yes, it is. <laughs> this is Keisha Nico. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shout out to both of you, Keisha. You are my favorite artist. Me and my twin sister and Nico. We just love you guys together. My question is, how did you guys actually meet? Mm. This turned into my interview. Okay. No oh, problem. No, no I'm problem, I'm Veronica. No problem. Bit. I love you, Veronica. No problem. I do. How do we meet? Mm. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we can answer this question, I guess. Um. Okay. I. I'll be honest. I'll be one hundred percent. I was on Instagram. Right. <laughs> I'll keep it real. I'll keep it real. 
<laughs> I was on Instagram and I, like I said, I saw this guy who um, had done a kind of remix like to my song, Let It Go. And the, the lyrics, I was just like, I really be feeling like that. Like I feel his lyrics. And then I just went to iTunes and checked him out, listened to some more of his lyrics and everything like that. And I, the more I listened, the more I liked it. And at that time, at that very moment, I was going through, I was going through a lot, you know what I'm saying? And just no good guys, just dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just couldn't deal with it no more. I was over it. And I was just like, I wonder if he really feel the way he say he feel in his lyrics. Because if it is, I need to hurry up and get him for somebody else who, you feel me? Like, that is my God, I hear you. Like, why are you, okay, I got this. And I, um, so I was like, yo, I said, I think you're real dope, like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, how you signed or whatever? And he was like, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, we should get up and do something together, like a song or whatever. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you know, like, it's all good or whatever. And I was like, okay, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> and so like that kind of went on for a little while. That went on for a little while, and then um, we finally met up at one of my shows, and then it was just like, yeah, I was like, where you going? Like, you guys there? Like, why you leaving? Like, yeah, that kind of vibe. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. That's the story. Thank you, Veronica, for asking. Yeah, the whole world knows. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, yeah. That's the so truth. this is the true love the that y'all guys see. But this is this is the amazing part because on the show you're gonna get some of this. You're gonna get a lot of this actually. But also, you know, they they we've missed the. It was I mean, it's not that long of a special, so it's only a few hours. So of course you're not gonna get all the juicy details, and that was one of the details that we left out um, because I just felt like I did I didn't know I didn't want people to criticize. But I mean, at this point, there you go. It is what it is. She slid in the DMs. <laughs> she slid in the DMs. She slid in the DMs. I cannot. I yeah. cannot. I cannot. But anyway, so yeah, this is the vibe. That's what this happened. This is the vibe. I can't wait to hear. I can't wait for everybody, though, to hear um, your lyrics and everything and everything and you perform. Word. I appreciate the opportunity to just come out here and vibe with you. Oh, yeah. Fox Soul. Shout out to Fox Soul. Yeah, shout out Fox. Yeah. 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 So the song that you're gonna perform tonight, it's called Hold On. It's called Hold On. Yeah. And what's the inspiration behind this one? Is this one a single? Um, it's just the it's just the record I put in the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not nothing is really set in stone right now. No, nah, no. Nah. You know, we just keep hitting the moments. As moments keep happening in life, we just keep hitting them with the moments. Yeah, like you record every five seconds. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's a lot like of I moments feel in life. So yeah. bad. Like I'd be like, <laughs> I know I should be recording way more than I am and, and it just don't make no sense. I mean like every two hours you pumping out songs. It just don't make no sense. Well you are Keisha Cole, you ain't really gotta, you know, work as hard as I do. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I mean I respect you because you still do and you still hustle, but Yeah, I definitely need to figure out this music thing, this music thing, but this is about you. So the song Hold On, what was the inspiration behind it? Um, I felt like a lot of people around me was in pain. Um, every time I scroll on Instagram, on Twitter, it seemed like, you know, it's always somebody going through some celebrities killing themselves, um, regardless of how much money and, and fame that they have. It just seemed like, you know, a lot of people were just going through pain around me. And so I, I, I wrote a song called Hold On, and I touched on just a lot of different life experiences, and um, music is the way I cope. So, you know, I hope this song can help others cope as well. Mm -hmm. Hold On, that's, you know, it's a well, positive vibe. So, so this song doesn't reflect anything on, um, on you personally? Yeah, I mean, I feel like me talking about how I cope helps other people cope, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you that, you know, if somebody's been in my shoes before heartbreak, um, needing more money, whatever it is, you need to get a job, uh, you just lost somebody. Um, you know, these are things that I, I, I know people out there dealing with too. So I think that's what music allows us to do, is just to connect with each other on a spiritual level, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that what this project is gonna be about, this whole project that you have coming out? 
yeah, I, 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 I got music for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I got music that's gonna make you think, and I got music that's gonna make you dance. Feel yeah. good. Yeah. And what means more is most to you? If it was, if it was up to you, what would be the music that only you would create? Like, just like, if you didn't have to make music about, you know money or like, you know. Like if we wasn't struggling and we yeah. had to grind and get where we at. I mean, I would just be trying to help people that wasn't in my mindset. If I was already happy and I was already, you know, successful and I was not stressed out thinking about death or heartbreak, mm -hmm. then I would just make Well, no, because I asked you that question because I know that you say a lot like, you know, when I listen to songs, I'd be like, why did you make a song like that? Oh, like, yeah, you know like saying? sometimes like I'll, like, I, cause I could write five lovey dovey songs back to back, but then if I write a song that's like saying anything about me, you know, us us going through something or not even us, like it'll be a situation where I'm like you with somebody that's you know not treating you the way you need to be treated. So it'll be like, well, who are you talking about? Because I'm not with somebody that you know what I'm saying is treating me like that. <laughs> who are you talking about? And it'll be like, I, you know, I'm doing this because you know I know that there's an audience for this, you know, I know that there's an mm -hmm. audience out there, I know that there's people, you know what I'm saying, going As I through. scroll through his phone, like, <laughs> nah. You know, I fall asleep, she on it. All <laughs> right, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he be laying on that joint now, no, no. Hey, yo. Now another question, how have um, being in love <laughs> changed you? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I've thought I was in love before many times, um, and it never felt like this. So I, I, I think it has changed me. It's changed my heart, my view on things. Yeah. My decisions with uh, my lyrics, you know. Yeah. I, I used to be like, I, I not care, and sometimes I would disrespect, and like now I feel like I, I find myself being less disrespectful to, towards women and my music, you know, just oh, because of somebody, amazing. you know. That that's the.